We know, many of us from just even in our district, that the majority of the American people are with us in demanding an immediate ceasefire. This isn't a fringe position, y'all. It's the will of the people. I know in Michigan, 53% of our residents in Michigan support a ceasefire. 74% of them are Michigan Democrats, and 64% of them are independents, all, again, supporting a ceasefire. People all around the world, from all different backgrounds, faiths, ethnicities, have seen what is happening in Gaza and have decided that they can no longer remain silent. Over the past few weeks, we've heard a lot about how the president and his administration are concerned and troubled by the Israeli government's actions. We're here to tell him, so are we. And yet again, once again, we are continuing though to veto resolutions at the United Nations for a third time calling for immediate lasting ceasefire. We're asking, please, let's go ahead and now prioritize Palestinian lives and again, saving the lives that are there, many of them women and children. I want you all to know in Southern Gaza, Netanyahu has already promised to invade Rafa, even if there is a temporary ceasefire. I'm repeating this. In Southern Gaza, Netanyahu has already promised to invade Rafa, even if there is a temporary ceasefire. Rafa, as many of us know, and many of us have talked to advocates and families, Rafa is where 1.5 million Palestinian families are displaced without food, clean water, and shelter. And calling for a temporary ceasefire is not enough. We all here are saying we need a permanent solution to this. So we know that there's nothing humanitarian about temporary ceasefire that feeds our children in Gaza before the bombing and killing resumes. So we need a lasting ceasefire. I know that 1.7 Palestinians, nearly three quarters of Gaza's population have been displaced. Famine and disease are rampant. I'm hearing about it every single day. Using starvation as a weapon of war is undeniable a war crime and is a war crime that we continue again to be complicit to those decisions. Children in Gaza, we all believe, deserve to grow up. They deserve to grow old. Netanyahu, as we all know, has a long history of turning to extremism and violence to boost his failing domestic political support. And there's very real danger, y'all, that he will expand this war regionally in an effort to stay in power. And we're saying enough, enough. We all know that we continue to say we don't have money for removal of lead, to fund our schools, to try to address the, the, the declining healthcare system in our country, and yet we continue to invest in wars like this. We cannot stop organizing, as you all know, and marching until our country facilitates a lasting ceasefire.